coming up on today's Mega News Roundup. Mega Man Maker version 1.5 is finally out, and it's glorious. And a new Mega Man-esque indie game hits the scene this week. Also the usual merchandise news, and a couple PSAs too. Let's rock. Hey guys, and welcome to your Mega News Roundup for March 29th, 2019. I am your humble host, Shadrock ZX. That's right, baby, I'm back. At least in one piece. Flu Man has been defeated, and I got a nifty weapon out of it too. It's called Not Being a Terrible Mess. Thank you so much, everyone, for all the get well wishes and for all the support. I really appreciate it. Oh, and all the Fs too. Yeah, I see you. With that out of the way, let's get right into business. In our last Mega News Roundup, we actually covered Mega Man Maker version 1.5. We said that it was coming and they were working on it. Well, to my surprise, they actually released it just this week. As we covered before, there's going to be a lot of Mega Man 8 and Mega Man 9 content in here, including 12 new weapons. We got new bosses, Tornado Man, Astro Man, Grenade Man, and Concrete Man. And speaking of bosses, you can actually now have multiple bosses in your stage. What's more, you can now make it to where bosses no longer auto in the stage by using the new boss suppressor feature. When this is placed, the player must defeat all bosses before ending the stage. In addition, you can now make bosses drop items as well. So now pretty much you can make this whole Metroidvania type level where you can just go around and defeat the bosses, grab their weapons, and so on and so forth. It really does open up a lot more possibilities of what kind of levels you can make, which is very, very exciting. Boss rushes are now possible too, it's crazy. And to help you to create those new levels, the favorites wheel feature has been added as well, which lets you quickly swap between your favorite items. For more information on Mega Man Maker, check out the official website from the link in the description below. We're also looking into doing our own little tour of Mega Man Maker 1.5 in the future, so stay tuned for that. Next up is a little indie game that I literally never heard before in my life until a couple days ago thanks to my buddy Red CX, who found it on the Xbox One store and he started playing it and he said it's pretty cool. So this is Metagal, it's literally female Mega Man. You got your 8 stages, you got your lemons and char shots, and I do mean the ones that you actually fire from your buster, and you even have a doctor that you actually have to save, that's the story of this game. Other things Meta Gal includes is 30 types of enemies, which doesn't include the bosses. Obviously, in true Mega Man fashion, you can acquire new weapons for defeating each of the Gal bosses that they call them. Secret collectible items to power up your character, kind of like Mega Man X, which the gameplay does look a lot like Mega Man X, or should I say Mega Man ZX. I mean, look at this character, she's basically a cross between Vent and Ale in their Model X forms. In addition to your weapons, your Mega Buster, you also have the dash, and of course, you know, a bit like Mega Man X. Medical also has a soft death penalty with the gear system. It allows the player to resolve their mistakes with less frustration. Now, here's a pretty cool thing. This game also has unlockable characters to play, and each one comes with their own powers and upgrades. So right off the bat, that is quite a bit of added replay value to this game. And I have to say, I haven't played the game myself yet, but the Nintendo Switch version just launched today, so I'll be checking that out. For you PlayStation 4 and Xbox One owners, again, it's been out there for a couple days now on each of their console stores. And it's only 5 bucks, so not too bad. In fact, it's actually on sale for 4 bucks right now, so. And for you guys that only have a PC, well, actually, this game has been out since last year already on the PC. It's just that now this game is now coming to consoles, which is why now everybody is hearing about it. So there's Metagal, a pretty interesting looking Mega Man like game. According to my buddy Red ZX at least, this game should be up any Mega Man fan's alley. I mean it's pretty obvious right? Look at the character design and oh, oh gosh this intro. <laughs> of course, of course they had to do a boob shot. Okay. Anyway, as I just said, Metagal is now available on all consoles as of right now, for 5 bucks. It's by Radalika Games and Retro Revolution, so good stuff. I will link to the Nintendo Switch product page in the description below. Also stay tuned because I am also looking into featuring more of Metagal on this channel here, either in the form of a review or a playthrough. 
probably both even. So stay tuned folks. We do have a couple of merchandise related announcements. Last time we talked about the Rockman X 25th Anniversary Band and Piano albums available from the GM store. And actually that album is out right now as well. I'll have the link in the description below if you guys want to go ahead and purchase it. I've heard from a few people that this album is actually really, really good, and Mega Man X2's music is also pretty amazing, so you can't go wrong. Also, by way of Aniplex, it has been revealed that the artist Shingo Adachi is releasing his own full color art book. Now, for a little background information, this guy has worked on many Mega Man related things, such as the Mega Man Battle Network movie, the Mega Man Star Force anime, and he's also had a hand in some of the animated cutscenes for Mega Man 8 and Mega Man X4. And bad voice acting aside, those animations are actually really, really good, so this guy does some legit work. This art book is going to contain a lot of his pieces, as well as with interviews and commentaries, so there's a good chance we may see a lot of Mega Man stuff in this art book. I mean, just look at the cover. You can see EXE, Roll, Geo, Luna... Sonya and Omega is there, so hey, if you like Mega Man stuff, keep a lookout for this art book. It's going to be available July 5th, 2019 in Japan for 40 US dollars, just about. And you can pre-order from the Aniplex Plus store as well, so I'll have a link to that in the description below. Though keep in mind you will have to import it, so you might need a proxy service in order to make that happen. The last merchandise news we have for you today is the fact that the Mega Man Fully Charged Wave 1 toy line has officially hit USA's retail stores. To give you a quick recap, Wave 1 of Mega Man Fully Charged includes Mega Man, Iceman, Airman, Wave Man, Guts Man, who farts by the way, don't forget that, Drill Man, Drill Power Mega Man, Roleplay Mega Buster, and the big boy, Mega Man Transforming Playset. You can find all these little toys over at Target, Walmart, or GameStop. So hey, if you're stopping by at one of those stores, keep an eye out. Of course, you can order these guys online as well from places like Amazon or Big Bad Toy Store. Oh, and if you want to see the entire Wave 1 Mega Man Fully Charged toy line in action, Jack Pacific actually sent the entire lineup to Vincent Tong, who is the voice actor behind Mega Man and Aki Light from Mega Man Fully Charged. So we want to see Mega Man himself opening up all these toys and get a good look at each one of them. Well, there you go. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Okay, before I go, I do have a few PSAs to make. The first is that April Fools is coming up just after the weekend, and that means Rockman Unity, Capcom of Japan, it's like we're going to do yet another Mega Man related April Fool's joke. However, it is interesting to note that some of these April Fool's jokes that Rockman Unity has done has actually become a real product. Granted, all of these were just action figures. The most famous one was the True Force X design and the figure. There was the Geo style variant of the Star Force Mega Man 4 inch no figure. There was the Ultimate Armor DRs figure way back and also the gigantic series roll. All these were revealed through April Fool's posts, but actually became something you could actually buy. So the big question that a lot of people are thinking is, now that we are in a world where Mega Man 11 has come out and it's a thing, what could this year's April Fool's be? Only one way to find out. The last announcement I have to make is that if you haven't seen my community post over on YouTube already, I'm going to be doing an interview with Matt Papa from NT Creates. He has been gracious enough to let me do an email interview so, currently on my community post over on the Shadowrock ZX YouTube channel page, I put out a call for questions for all you guys. You can head over there right now and tell me what would you ask NT Creates. The main topic is Blaster Master Zero 2 that just came out. Very surprise launch. So you can ask questions about that game, or you can ask questions about the other games. Obviously, they're well known for Mega Man Zero, Mega Man ZX, Mega Man 9 and 10, even Mega Man Battleship Challenge they worked on. They also did Azure Striker Gun Vault, Mighty Number no. 9, Mighty Gun Vault. They did Dragon Mark for Death in January of this year, and actually the physical version of that just came out this month too. And of course, the Blaster Master Zero series, and also that weird game Gal Gun. So head on over to that community post and hit me with what you got. I'm going to gather up their best questions and send them to Matt so that he can answer what he can best. Just keep in mind, don't waste all your questions on things he obviously can't talk about, like things that aren't announced yet. And do keep in mind, yes indeed, he cannot answer everything. So make your questions count, is what I'm saying. 
Then once I get the questions back, expect another video with all the answers to your NT Crates related questions. Should be really exciting, and I hope you'll look forward to that. That's all for today's Mega News Roundup, folks. It's good to be back. Thank you so much for watching, and what was your favorite part of this news update? Are you going to play Mega Man Maker version 1.5, or is that Metagal game more your thing? Let me know in the comment section below. And for more on all things Mega Man and Mega Man S, stay tuned to Shadowrock ZX. Until next time, rock on, have yourselves a fantastic day.